Good morning, Maya Barback. Here's the plan. Take a look at the six columns that had concrete poured yesterday and see if the revised method of multiple times for vibrating has made a difference. Then they will move on to completing the last six columns in the house. They can't pour the concrete just yet on a couple, they're still making adjustments to the rebar, to the columns themselves. There will be work going on on the front wall. They've actually sealed off our previous driveway and have created a temporary one so they can extend that wall another two sections. And there'll be work going on uh, on the south wall to extend the height of that. In fact, today they might be starting to work on the area where the basketball court is, so there'll be some chipping out required there. Some fairly aggressive chipping out uh, because the current basketball court extends right up to the neighbor's wall. So that's going to take a bit of effort. What could possibly go wrong? Yesterday I commented on spacing for stirrups and rather than just flubbering along and guessing I actually went and looked at the blueprints this morning. So the drawings call for on both uh, columns and beams the spacing of the stirrups should be five centimeters for the first two nearest to a junction then three at 10 centimeters three at 15 centimeters and then the rest at 20 centimeters until they go in reverse when they approach the next junction. That's what the drawing says. Right, the moment of truth. The new columns from yesterday. So, let's have a look in closer, if we can get closer. That looks pretty good. I actually would say it's not quite as good as the one I did the day before with less vibrating but let's just see what the others look like all right second one from yesterday looks very good i'm only taking these on the sides where there is sunlight you have to take my word for it the other sides look equally good moving on and the next again looking very nice On to the next. And again, very nice. Yes, very good, all the way to the top. And I can't actually get to the last one. I'm surrounded by guys doing other stuff. When I looked earlier, it looked good. So it looks like what we asked for has resulted in some very good columns. So again, thanks to all those people who suggested that we do vibrating at three different points during the pour. Your suggestions have paid off. Here at the front, they are continuing to work on getting the forms in place to pour the upper part of these columns. We don't yet have a tie beam across the top. That might be next. But one thing that has changed our driveway, our access has been blocked and a new one has been created just over there to allow them to put in the last two sections here where Juanito's digging out the road. Uh, that will then take us to where the gate will start, or gates. There'll be the uh, gate for vehicles and a gate for people. Once they've got these two sections done, my understanding is they then skip across to the wall over there and start coming back the other way. So we're making a start on chipping out the basketball court. Only a small crew here today, three of them. There's one off camera. So they're starting by preparing for the columns. And at some point, the net will need to come down. It's in the way. 
have to get moved forwards. We'll see how far across they can progress today. Actually, Jojo here is getting through the concrete surface really very fast. Quicker than I thought. It's just after lunch. And we're starting here at, towards the back of the property on the basketball court, where four of the holes have been dug out, put in the footings and then the columns. In fact, two, three of the columns, three of the four that will be on this basketball court. I've already got those columns in place and the footings and uh, as you see, getting gravel. So, very good progress. They've also started to dig out this small area where the next tie beam will be. And we've gone from almost one end to the other here at the front. Earlier on, Juanito was the bloke in a hole, bloke digging a hole, and he's extended the trench for the next two columns and the tie beam. So that will get looked at a little bit later on. And before I film this, I did a quick walk around. Well, not a quick walk around, a walk around. Just to try and figure out roughly how much of the perimeter wall is now done. And if I counted correctly, we now have 95 sections either at height, at height with the top beam, at height in some cases without the top beam like this front wall, or close to being at height. In most cases with the columns poured, in a number of cases not yet, but basically 95 sections of three meter spans and it's center to center so that's three meters including the columns in between which basically puts us at about 45, just under 45% of the perimeter wall being at some kind of height. And what are we today? Day 48? Or we're 49 now. Whatever. So 45% in about a month and a half. Still clearly a long way to go. I reckon that's pretty good progress. What do you think? And back at this pesky house, which is distracting some of the workers from the more important job of building that perimeter wall, we look like we're on pretty good, making pretty good progress towards the last six columns. So you can see in here, they're pouring this one right now. They have been vibrating as it went up. Oh. Man, he's telling me to get out of the way. And they've been hitting the side. Not with a hammer, they've been hitting it with a piece of metal. So, again, they appear to be doing exactly what we asked. And by the end of today, maybe every column is poured. We've still got quite a bit to do. They're still constructing this form. There's still one behind it. They haven't started on that yet. So I'm not sure we'll get there. Oh, JR wants to say hello over there. And he's telling everyone else to say hello. Uh, so yeah, there's still a fair bit to be done in order to get this completed today. But they've done it every other day so far. They've done six a day. We'll see back at the carport. Richard and Ronwell, double R, Arnold, still working on forms to complete the forms for the tie beams at the top here. Hold on. Can't interrupt them. Uh, and I misunderstood what's going to happen next here. In fact, above the tie beam, there will be more concrete hollow blocks. They will go a little higher. Uh, I'm not sure if it's one level or two or three. Uh, so basically, they will pour the tie beams uh, 
and then they will continue to work on concrete hollow blocks until they get it fully up to height before they consider well obviously before they consider pouring the roof slab well the bell's just gone and we're still here this is not the final column there is one more still to be done after this which is this one in the corner and they're still making those final adjustments to the monster form the last monster form on this floor so there will be OT, they do want to get the six done today. Unfortunately, we won't be here to see it. We are out this evening, so we won't be seeing the last moments of the last column. To be done. But they will get it done, and we'll come back and see the results. Today. Okay, so back here on the front wall, they did not do any more to this trench that Juanito dug out. What they did do was finish the forms and pour four of the columns, the top part of the columns, on this front wall and the last two, sorry, the last three, including the corner one on the north wall. They have not been idle. And back here at the basketball court, we have one hole which has the footing in there, it has the column in there, it does not have concrete. The others, rather interesting how they've done things. So, they have the column in place, they've concreted it back in and then they've put a tie beam across the top which I wasn't expecting but that's how they've done it and they've done that for the well for three uh, footings on the basketball court which then connect to the wall on the far side so a slightly different approach of having effectively that base tie beam a little higher. Any thoughts on that? So that's it, the day's done. The day of the big reveal of the new columns that were poured using the new guidelines, rules, and they look good. Hopefully these last six, or the five that are done already and the one to come, will look just as good tomorrow. For eight guys, I think it's eight, including Foreman Manny and Oliver who's out of the camera at the moment. A little bit more overtime. I guess they'll push on until six-ish when basically the light goes. And although we have security lights, they're probably not bright enough to cover this. But I think they'll be done by then. We'll see you tomorrow. And we'll see you hopefully then. Bye.